Iron worker machine is like a large scissor that can cut up cut up to one inch metal. It's literally like this huge scissor in principle. It's got a pivot plate here and a pivot plate there. And there's the pivot. And this is this is our stock four by four inch tubing, and that's one half inch wall. It's got holes throughout. Now, it's not exactly a single tube, it's actually doubled up. It's multiple tubes. You need a lot of strength here, actually. Many tubes. But to draw this a little better here, there's a cylinder on one side, a cylinder or two. This is, say, the upper arm. Say it's the lower arm. Let's draw out the pivot here and here. These are the stock pivot plates. And the shear element is right here. So this is what's what can be used to cut one by twelve inch slabs of steel. That's heavy duty. That means there's gonna be about two hundred tons of force right there. Maybe we can achieve that is in the present design we're actually using two cylinders. Not one, but two five inch cylinders with which can be mounted readily uh, between mounts here. Now the pins of the cylinder fit in right into the one inch holes like this. This tubing has one inch holes. The cylinders fit right in the tubing. Now on the other side from the shear, so if that's the shear on the other side of the pivot, is the punch element is essentially a die, here's your punch element, and a bottom die contains a hole into, through which you punch, so you insert your metal here and punch up to one inch holes through one inch thick metal. Then a little plug comes out after you punch the metal, so you put the metal in, plug comes out, falls to the floor. Now this bottom die here can be adjusted so that this, this top die goes directly downwards into the die. Now, what are the details? The key to making this work is that these plates are bolted down through a number of one inch bolts. That's what bonds the, the different pieces of tube. Say there's three pieces of tube. We, s we put plates around this so there's heavy plates that are bolted straight through. And the way this machine stands vertically so it doesn't fall over. We're actually stick, sticking these one inch tubes through some of these other holes that are here. And it's convenient to have these holes which can be used for bolts, for pins. In this case these these uh, basically these rods stabilize the machine so it doesn't fall over. Last detail is so how do you mount the blade? It's a precision blade mounting. So there is actually precision in this device. So we've got plates that mount the blade and the blade is bolted with with like five or six small bolts to the half inch mounting plates. All the plates here we're talking about, all the stock plates are one half inch and, um, and the blades themselves look like long long pieces of rectangular tubing, well rectangular flat, it's, it's about one by two by fourteen inches for this and there's two of these so the blades are essentially a scissor. Now in detail the blade, say that's the top blade, it's mounted on a tubing through this this half inch plate and these little bolts, these smaller bolts bond it tightly and the bottom blade here is likewise mounted on the bottom bottom piece of tubing and here it would have to be mounted on this side. Now there needs to be a spacer here, so actually this blade right here is here. Well, there'd be a spacer, some form of spacer for the blade to remain there, and then you have the longer bolt bonding the, the blade to this, to this half inch plate. There's a little detail here, and that is that has to be five to ten thousands, thousands of an inch. Very tight gap here. And how do you hold it? Well, to get that spacing perfectly right, you, you might need to shim it from this side to whatever that distance is and make sure this 
this shimming is perfect so that you get this five to ten thousandths and this entire machine has to be pretty stiff all these bonding plates there's tens of them like 10 or 20 of the bonding plates used they make for a stiff machine that doesn't move when there's many tons applied along this pivot and this pivot here that's got the three inch pin in there so it's super heavy duty and that's about it